You know, we've never wanted this church to be about us. When Jen and I were encouraged to start a new church, our first follow-up question was where? And the next question was, well, where's the need? There were lots of other questions. We thought about places that would be good for our family and places where we thought we could be effective in ministry. But the question we kept coming back to was this, where is the greatest need? When Jesus said those words, I will build my church, the last thing the people in his day needed was another religious organization doing its religious things. I believe the city here is hungry for something that is far bigger than a religious organization doing its religious thing. I believe that Lafayette doesn't need a new church, but that Lafayette does have a hunger for a vital community of faith that just gets the basics right. A vital community of faith that puts God first. A vital community of faith that serves the broken and that guides people to get just one step closer to Jesus. We started in We Are Ridge Elementary School because we wanted to be near the south side of town where all the new construction was going on and near the school where all the new families would send their children. I would tell people about our church and they would tell me that they had a friend in the construction business who could help us build it. And I would respond that, well, we're more interested in people than in buildings. Because after all, we never wanted the church to be about us. But you know that phrase is hard to maintain. The larger the church got in those early days, the more we were tempted to make more and more of the church about some form of, well, us. Before long, we had staff to pay, rent to pay, volunteers to manage, and people to care for. And as the us of the church grew larger and larger, we fell more into the pattern of thinking about us. Now, don't get me wrong, we've done some great things as us. We've even done some really cool things for others by working together as us. But the temptation, you see, the gravitational pull of any church is always to be more and more about us and less and less about others. But we're never supposed to be about us. We never wanted it to be about us. This church was always supposed to be about others. We were supposed to be the church for the people who had no church. We were supposed to be the home for the spiritually homeless. And so, as we begin these 21 days of prayer to launch us into a renewed and relaunched ministry, we need to prepare ourselves to be less about us. And you know how we start? It's by spending seven days thinking specifically, introspectively, and incisively about us. It's counterintuitive, but to become less about us, we need to spend some time thinking more about us. See, that's why Jesus, when he taught us to pray, he began this way, our Father in heaven. There's an us buried in that phrase, you know, do you see it? It's not my Father, it's our Father. When we come to prayer, the first thing we have to address is that there's a we who are in relationship with the Creator God of the universe. Everything begins from that perspective. There's an undeniable us, and we share a Heavenly Father. So as we begin this 21-day journey, we begin by asking God to show us who we are in relation to Him. I invite you to join us. Join us in this 21 days. And let's ask God to start with these first seven days to reveal to us more about ourselves and who we are in relationship to Him so that over the next days after that, He can reveal to us more and more what His calling on our life is, what His calling on our church is, and how we as a church, how we as an us can be more and more about the others. Because this church was never supposed to be about us. Our life is never supposed to be about us. It's about our relationship with our Heavenly Father and how He leads us to be a blessing to others.